Welcome back to my channel, y'all. I'm getting ready to go, so I need to go change my shirt. But, um, I just filmed this makeup tutorial today with using the Makeup Revolution Neutrals 2 palette. I really, really like this palette. When I first got it, I dropped it, so some of my colors broke and I was sad or whatever. But it's cool, um... Some of the shades in here, you have to build them up, and I had to use other palettes because this palette is cool or whatever, but I just wasn't getting the pigment that I wanted. But I feel like if you're a beginner and you're just starting with your makeup, this is a great palette to get. This palette was only $7, I believe, and actually for $7, the pigment was great. So, um, yes, I, I think I'm going to get more of these palettes. I think I want, like, the green one that they have, and yeah. Um, I paired it today with this colorful, cute lip. Um, the lip I use is... Who is this by? I guess this is by ColourPop. And this is in the shade Hush. The words ran out of it because this lipstick is very old. And this is also by ColourPop. And this is in the shade Trap. So, these are just the two lip combos I did today. Um... Like I said, I have to go, so I'm going to stop rambling. At the end of this video, if you like it, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining. Make sure that you hit that subscription button. I'm going to stop talking and let's jump right into this tutorial. Everything nice. Talk, talk to me nice. Okay, hey guys, so jumping right into this makeup tutorial, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Neutrals 2 palette, and I'm just going to start off with a transition color, that brown shade, and then next I'm going to go in into that orange shade just to build up my crease color. Now taking my Juvia's Place Festival palette, I'm going to take that bright orange shade just to get like a brighter orange because I really wasn't feeling this orange. So yeah, I just took that shade just to brighten the look up. Then I'm going to go in with my next concealer to make a cut crease. Going back into the Makeup Revolution palette, I just took that white to start putting it in my inner corner and on the beginning part of my lid. And then in the middle part, I'm going to go ahead and take this shimmery, like, pink color. This color is very, very beautiful and pigmented. And I'm going to put that, like, on the outer part of the eye. Just to make the look a little bit more deep, I'm going to take the Soft Time Make a Revolution palette and take that shade Nightmare just to darken the look up. Then I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. Now onto the face, I'm going to take my Too Faced Hangover Primer and then I'm going to take this NARS, um, this is a new foundation, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and my color is in the shade... Macau. So y'all, this was actually my first time trying out this foundation and I absolutely love this foundation. I really, really love it. It's full of coverage. It's, it does everything I need to do. It lasts long. And I really love this foundation, so I really see what all the hype is about. Um, also, in this tutorial, I was trying out some new brushes, the BB brushes. If you watch my blog, blog you know I just got this brush set from BB. Um, cosmetics i guess and i really love these brushes they gave me like this silicone little foundation brush and it, it was cool even though i had to go back in with a different brush just to blend it out but i really like the way that it worked and i will be using that in my future videos on to concealers i'm going to take the clinique beyond perfecting concealer in 17 ivory and 06 I'm sorry, 06 Ivory and 17 Nutty. If you guys used to watch my videos back in the day, y'all know that this was my concealer. Like, I used to love this concealer. Somehow, I just put it down and I just forgot how great it was. Like, I had to pick this back up. But, yes, that's what I'm just putting on my skin. Now, to set that, I'm going to take my Airspun Loose Face Powder. Going in with my black opal foundation stick in the shade Beautiful Bronze to contour with. To set that, I took the Juvia's Place to Harm Blush Volume 1 palette into that shade Abbey. And y'all see my little mermaid brush? This is so freaking cute and I love it. But I'm just going to take that shade Abbey to set that contour with.
And y'all, I saw this off of someone's video. I can't remember who video I was watching, but I'm I've been trying this new technique. And instead of brushing away the powder, I'm just pressing it into my skin. I think I saw this off of Leah Gardon page. Leah. Yeah, anyways. So I'm just going to press this powder into my skin. And I actually like the way that my makeup lasted with this last it <laughs> last with this this i like this technique and i'm going to continue to do it then i'm going to go in with the black radiance contour palette and take that middle shade just to go over where i press that um powder in so it won't be like an ashy look just to like you know put powder on my face then taking that contour shade out of this palette just to re-up on my contour you know sometimes it get washed away so this is just going to fix that then going back into the Sahara blush volume one palette i'm going to take that pink shade and use it as blush then taking this wet and wild highlighter powder powder in the shade precious petals and i'm just going to put that all over my skin to glow with Then to set my face, I'm just going to take this Mario Badescu setting spray to go ahead and set that. Then going back into the Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going to take that light shimmery pink shade and put that in my inner corner. And then you're going to see me go back into this palette and take that orange shade that we used in the beginning to put that on my lower lash line. And the last thing that I did was go ahead and apply my lip stick color and i just took these two lipsticks from color pop thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget if you guys enjoyed it make sure that you give me a big thumbs up thank you guys so much again i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one okay y'all this is the finished look if you like this video make sure that you give me a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel and i will see you guys in my next one bye